Welcome to satellite communication course. Today we will learn that a time division multiple axis system that is a TDMA and this uh, TDMA it is a concept of TDM and that will be extended to the TDMA system. Now this TDMA system generally we say that it will be a digital system and if you compare with the FDMA so for a FDMA we can give the analog input as well as the digital input but this TDMA it is a fully digital system and uh, The concept of a TDMA, if you see that, it is just the word itself, it is saying that a time division multiple axis means that this technique allows a different users that will share the transmission medium. Share a transmission medium. using a different time slot. We say the important is about it is sharing the different time slot. So that's why this TDMA is called as a time division multiplex access system because it is dividing this time and the time is allotted to the various users. If you see that a concept here, it is just like what you can say that whatever the time is that time is nothing but what? A transmission time. That transmission time is divided into equal frame. frame of duration same duration okay in terms of we can say that is about a duration so means here we can say that a transmitter that will share the transmission medium by this equal frame duration there so now this what are the various transmitters used they are using the different time slot for transmission the data there. Then that particular frame that will be divided into a different time slot. Okay, this frame is divided into a time slot as we have seen the same that is in a TDM system and that And that time slot are allocated to the different transmitter. So frame we have, that frame is divided into various time slots and that time slot is allocated to the various transmitter. Now supposed to be, if you could see that, a TDMA frame. Now this TDMA frame, here we have a time slot is that that is a particular TDMA frame here and that frame is divided into a time slot now if you see that there are the four transmitter we say transmitter A, transmitter B, transmitter C and a transmitter D and they transmit their data in the form of a bus in that bus, we have mentioned that bus A, bus B, bus C and bus D. So means that bus we generally consider that is about a non-overlapping bus. Means we say that we have a, a frame 
that is about a TDMA frame. And each frame, they have the burst. And that burst are a non-overlapping burst. Then each burst has a sub-burst that contain a data for the different receivers. So now this is about a burst and they have the that particular burst has a sub-burst. They have a data for the different receiver. So that's why if you consider that a transmitter A in the transmitter A has a data in a sub bus that will be data for the receiver B, C and D. This is a B, C and D here. And data from all transmitter is combined at the transponder. So now this is about a particular TDMA frame we say that. So all the data are combined at the transponder since we have a various transmitter so data from all the transmitter will be combined at the transponder and then that particular combined signal that combined signal containing the data bus from all other stations that will be transmitted to the earth station so we say that we have the earth station here and then whatever the data from this transponder that will be transmitted to the earth station through the downlink here. So data from, data from this different transmitters that will be combined in, combined in the transponder and that will be transmitted to the downlink here. And the received frame and that received frame that will be at an earth station here and that received frame consists of a data burst from all the transmitter. If you see that this is about a received frame rx received frame and these are the bursts a b c d and this one is like about a complete tdma frame we have the a b c and d that is about a burst a b c d here and this received frame that will be consist of what data bus from all the transmitter and here at the receiver that receiver separate the bus of a data which it is to be supposed to be received from the data bus from other other transmit now suppose here we can say that it this one is about a transmitting bus then this one is about a receiving frame tdma receiving frame and then a receiver will separate out or receiver will separate the same the subburst of a data that is supposed to be received from the data bus. So from the here the receiver A that will receive a burst data burst of A here. Likewise, receiver B here, receiver C likewise, and a receiver D here. So that is about a TDMA frame and then this TDMA frame transmits the data burst of a, each and every transmitter and at a receiver that burst will be separated. Now in the case of a TDMA if you see that Earlier we say that a time division multiplex, multiplexing that is only a TDM. So in a TDM 
ए सिग्नल चार generated at the different locations so whatever we can say that is about a tdm here and that gen generated signal from different locations they are referred to as a burst okay in a tdm frame so because that burst is nothing but a continuous data from a different user and that continuous data are converted into a high speed bus and that high speed bus occupying a short duration so now that is about your tdma frame now that a frame or we can say that they have the various data bus from different different transmitter or different users and the data bus are modulated using the bus modulator and that are transmitted in a short or a bus so that is about a digital data it is generated regularly from that will be from the different location even if it is a data from the analog analog data is there that will be converted and then that data will be transmitted through this data bus at a higher rate so now that frame rate or we can say that a sampling rate that is generally a integer ratio or we can say that when a transmission rate and a tdma frame rate are same then we can say that the data is compressed by a factor that is the ratio of a two here now if you see that a tdma frame structure the tdma frame structure we say that they have the control bus data bus for the different n users and if supposed to be if you consider that a single database sorry data bus and that data bus has a preamble and the user data means that tdma frame if you see that that tdma frame is a complete period in that particular in that particular period each user get a choice to transmit means we have a data bus 1 2 and n likewise there are the n number of users and in that particular period of a time every user get a chance to transmit at least once in a frame so that's why we can say that that frame is divided or it is depending upon the number of users and and that number of users and the resulting time slot that will be allocated to the each and every user so that particular particular period in that particular frame we say that it is divided into a particular time slot and that will be allocated to the each and every user and that particular length of the time slot we say that here we say a time slot that will be assigned to the user it will be depending upon that how much will be how many will be the traffic or that will be whatever the system consist of how many number of users or we can say that a traffic handled by the users so now that 
a complete TDMA frame, if you see, it has the dedicated control channel at the beginning of each frame and that will providing the timing reference and information about start and length of that particular data bus. And that is about we can say that where we can say that the data bus will be started and what will be the length of that particular data bus that information is present in this particular control bit. And that this is nothing but a frame and that particular frame is transmitted and that transmitted frame that frame is transmitted in some particular unique format or that will be transmitted in the form of a unique pattern of a bit called as a reference unique word that is we can say that reference unique word and that reference unique word that will be defined by an earth station and that will be called as a reference earth station in the reference earth reference bus there so that's why if you see that that reference unique word generally it is of a 12 to 20 symbols and if you see here that is about a reference bus and that reference bus for each and every data so that is about, I'll just draw here what will be the particular frame length and what will be the reference bus for the ATDMA frame structure. Now generally, we require that a reference bus that reference bus 1 reference bus 2 then we can say that a preamble preamble for your data bus then you have a, a data bus that is about data bus 1 then we have a preamble likewise then a data bus 2 then a preamble then a data bus that is about here and that particular reference bus if you see that or we say that a before particular data is to be transmitted so we require a preamble and that particular reference bus they have the a bus if you consider that I'll just redraw here it has a VT then a CR VTR I'll write here okay OW here then SID that is about a we can say that will be about your reference bus and this generally we say that for a given particular a TDMA frame they have a two reference bus transmitted from the to a station and that reference bus is assigned as a reference station so normally all bus are synchronized to a first reference bus and that reference bus if you see 
that will be begin with a zero and that that uh, first we can say that it will transmit at this zeros and that bit is called as a carry bit here generally we say that it is about a gt is about a guard time this one is about a guard time and this one is about a, a carry bit so that is about a or we can say that a carrier recovery bit and that bit ensures that whichever is a carrier is transmitted or in that particular carrier bit transmitted during this particular period of a time and that particular carrier bit that will help a demodulator to recover the carrier easily okay so we can say that this bit is used for the recovering a carrier that is a recovering the carrier at the demodulator there. and after that there is a bit time recovery bit bit time recovery bit and that bit time recovery bit it is nothing but a string of a bit that it will be of 1010 string of a bit and this particular recovery bit or that particular pattern helps a clock recovery at the receiver okay this will help for the clock recovery okay this bit is help this bit will help carrier carrier bit or a carrier recovery bit that is really help for the recovering a carrier this will be help for the clock recovery here and that a clock recovery at the receiver and then uh, we have this order wire that is about ow okay because if you see that a frame consist of a bit and then now we can consider that if we have a a reference unique word that is for the reference station because we say that that particular pattern is to be received so reference unique word pattern that is to be synchronized for this particular tdma frame so means at the receiver receiving station is expected a some reference carrier as well as the clock signal that will be recovered from the received rf bus by the end of this particular btr okay at this particular btr there and the demodulation of a data is takes place from this particular btr then end of this particular bit that is about a bit time recovery and that will explain the that end of that particular bit mark the true beginning of that particular frame then the demultiplexer know the sequence of data that will be following with a reference unique word and then reference unique word will separate various information of a order wire this will be a order wire and that will be used for the station used for a station or we can say that order wire that will be used for the 
वॉट एवर द इंटरस्टेशन आर देयर और इंटरस्टेशन कम्युनिकेशन आर देयर एंड देन वी हैव दिस एस आई डी एंड दैट इज ए आइडेंटिफिकेशन कोड फॉर द स्टेशन और ए रेफरेंस स्टेशन आइडेंटिफिकेशन कोड रेफरेंस स्टेशन आइडेंटिफिकेशन कोड that is about the sid and after that we have a control data bit or a control data symbols that will carry the information control data that is about a control data symbols that will carry the information on the position and what will be the length of that particular data bus there. so now each we can say that for each and every a station that a every a station that demodulate and decode this ruw and that that when it will decode that ruw then it will provides from what particular place is to be start reading that particular data there and then after reference bus there will be a preamble the reference bus for the receiver uh, station because this one we can say that a transponder it has a various transmitter that data will be combined here and then that will be transmitted to the downlink to the earth station and then earth station receive that particular tdma frame by using that reference bus and that reference reference bus consists of this bit that is about a guard time then carrier recovery bit and a clock recovery bit and then then this bit will say that information for the demodulation and after that from this that data will read by the demodulator then I, what will be the inter order intercommunication station for this order wire then what will be the reference station identification code and what will be the control data bus and then then we say that there will be a preamble at the beginning of each bus in the frame and that preamble if you see that that preamble consist of a guard time then a carrier recovery bit then we have a bit time recovery bit then a unique word then voice order wire then a station id that is about a preamble here so that is a, a complete bus link and then after that we have this a user data bus this total bus link if you consider that it has the preamble and then a user data bus now this unique word here it is nothing but for a given particular bus it will be called as a local unique word and that sid symbol that will be similar to the reference bus the local unique word is, if you see that this is about unique word it has a different patterns of a symbol that we have seen in the reference unique word okay now we can see that reference unique word ow sid and cd here we can see that a unique word and that unique word it has a different pattern than the ruw symbol and after that particular preamble 
data symbol or a data bus is there and then a station decide both the reference unique word as well as the local unique word in the receive frame and measure the difference between them in terms of a whatever the symbols we have so now then we can say that the number of symbol that will be defining the positioning of the local bus so that whatever the local unique word and a reference unique word whatever the symbols are there according to that we can say that what will be the a position of the particular local bus so we use uh, in a tdma a acquisition as well as the bus synchronization and that will be beheld to find out or a place of that local bus at a particular correct or a particular position or a correct position in that particular frame or you can say that a beginning of a frame that particular symbol beginning or and that where we have the information or the data there and that will be continuously monitored that is about a tdma bus format then we see that a tdma equipment or a tdma terminal equipment so why there are the two reference bus because we consider that a two reference bus transmitted from the true earth station and that that will be assigned for this reference station so that's why there are the two reference bus used for the two reference earth station next we consider that a tdma terminal equipment so means what are the various hardware component that will be used in a station we'll just understand that a hardware component in this particular equipment what are the various hardware component used in this uh, tdma there in all the earth station that will be participating in a tdma network so if you see that a typical tdma earth station equipment so it consists of a terrestrial interface and that terrestrial interface module receives signal from from a terrestrial component that is such as we can say that that will be input to the what we can say that a telephone exchange or we can say that a tv studio or we can say that whatever the data center or a computer center or you can say that a multiple input from this terrestrial interface that interface this terrestrial interface module to receive the signal from or send back the signal to this particular devices there that is about a role of this particular terrestrial interface model so means data from this telephone exchange taken from this test interface model and tra for transmission or at the reception it will given to the telephone exchange that is about the terrestrial interface model 
and then we have this interface after the traditional interface model we have the direct digital interface then we have this dsi that is about a digital speech interpolation then we have a fdm sg that is about a super group okay fdm super group coder these are about the interface for the transmission okay so means we have a tdma station it has a transmitting component and these are the receiving component so means in the in the case of a transmitter so that whatever the input signals are there whether it can be analog signal or a digital signal and that will consist of a terrestrial interface model and the terrestrial interface model that has a direct digital interface we have a digital speech interpolation model or we have this fdm supergroup codec that will be interfacing to the terrestrial system or a terrestrial system component okay these are the components and then that information from this all this component traced interface that will transmit and this interface again traced interface model here we have a trans for the transmission and here we have the reception for the transmitting we need to multiplex whatever the information and then transmit at the receiver okay we can separate out this whatever the interface model and then we'll transmit the data to the different components so means transmit signal and receive signal from the various earth station via satellite and this interface system if you see that they have the compression buffers at the transmit side and they have the expansion buffer at the receiver side so we'll see in detail about that a buffer because we can say that when we transmit the data we require to store the information and then we need to transmit it so means buffer is to be read buffer is to be right and then that data is to be transmitted so means at the type at the time of a transmission so now a terrestrial terrestrial data if you see that the data rate is lower from the terrestrial side and from the multiplexer side the data rate is higher okay data rate is higher when it will be transmitted in the bus format now we'll see that one by one what will be the direct digital interface what will be the digital speech interpolation model and what will be the fdm super group codec and then we'll see one by one and then after that we'll see that how each and every component how it works so now we consider that a ddi direct digital interface model here and for this direct digital model so we need a input to this ddi equipment and that equipment to the ddi equipment are one or more pcm tdm data streams this one is about a pcm here and that will be pcm or a tdm data stream at rate of 
2.048 megabit per second each because if supposed to be some countries they are using ei carrier i can say that even carrier we can say that and that even carrier is of comprises of a 2.048 bit mbps mbps bit per second here that is a even carrier a primary multiplex data and in some countries they are a t1 carrier system and in a t1 carrier system you can say that a t1 carrier system they have the 1.536 megabit per second so means whether it will be a t1 carrier or even carrier that will be input to this ddi equipment but generally the function of the ddi equipment is to receive a data from pcm or line coded data from the pcm or a tdm and that data from what either from the telephone exchange or a trunk exchange there and then whatever the data received that will be transmitted at the higher rate means we can say that a continuous data from the input is converted to the high burst high speed burst here we say that a high speed burst data here it is even if it is a data rate is lower but it will convert into the high speed burst data and how it will be converted that to the high speed burst data that will be using the buffer because we have if you see that in the figure so this is about the input and after that they have a converter and then they have the buffer one is a used for the reading and another buffer is used for the writing there means continuous input data is written in a buffer one in one frame and during the next frame that data is to be read out at a tdm rate which is much higher than that input rate so in that case one data one buffer is to be used for the reading and another buffer is to be used as a writing there so the data written in the one frame can be read out in a fraction of a frame okay so you can see that we can get the output here when the data is read out from the buffer 1 that the input data is written on the buffer 2 the writing into and reading of the data is carried out alternately from buffer 1 to the buffer 2 there so here the read write address is given for both the buffer to say that it will be reading that buffer is to be writing the data or reading the data the write address for the both the buffer is given by a slow input clock and read address generator is driven by the high speed clock okay we can say that this is about a read address generator high speed clock bus here we have write address that is about a low speed clock and that is about it this clock is nothing but a tdma clock and we will get that the output multiplexed data and along with that a preamble is attached to this data bus before modulation and these two buffers are operated in a ping pong mode 
while one buffer is in write mode and other buffer is in read mode after a frame period or a frame is rolled or a continuous input is stored in one buffer without loss while the busted data is read out from the other buffer data other bus buffer the size of the buffer it is depending upon that what will be the input data rate and the output data rate and a tdma frame length so that is about a role of a ddi direct digital interface 